This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 20th of November. Got a cold shot for the weekend, some rain as the weekend begins. And next week, rain, another cold shot. Uh, Thanksgiving week, a lot of things to talk about here. So let's get in there and do it. We'll take a look out the window with our SkyCam network this afternoon. We'll start with the Tuscaloosa uh, camera. And things are looking good there. The sky there is mostly sunny. That is looking uh, off to the uh, west from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. That's our sky cam in Cheha State Park on the eastern side of the state, and there clouds are increasing. It's that uh, cold air damming setup we talked about this morning. Uh, the clouds will be increasing statewide from the east tonight. And down south, look at that. That's our Gulf Shore sky cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites, and if you were down there, you would own that beach. Not a soul as far as we can see. Uh, there's a look at the uh, visible satellite view. And you can see how the clouds are indeed increasing over east and southeast Alabama. Pretty good cloud deck over south Georgia. And we figure a lot of that will be expanding across the state tonight. And there's the big picture. Of course, we're watching the northern branch of the jet stream. It's starting to buckle up over the uh, western part of Canada. as very cold air comes down the pike. But around here, it feels pretty good today. We've got temperatures mostly in the low 60s. Birmingham at 62 but notice Auburn's only 57. Carrollton, Georgia's at 57. That's the uh, wedge, and that cooler air will creep in here tomorrow. So I think tomorrow, highs near the Georgia border will be in the middle 50s like that. But over in West Alabama, they'll see mid-60s again. Just a matter of what part of the state you're in, that will determine your high temperature tomorrow. Around the nation, yeah, boy, it is getting brutally cold in Montana and North Dakota. As uh, Arctic air invades the United States, there's a better representation of that. Uh, some spots up there near the Canadian border are sitting uh, around zero at mid-afternoon. Ouch. And uh, we're going to feel that this weekend. Not numbers like that, but it's going to be sharply colder uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, this is the watch warning map, and uh, we've got winter weather advisories as the cold air rushes in for parts of Montana and some of the adjacent states. Here's the overall rain for the next five days. Really not much. This is valid through Monday morning of next week, and this shows about a tenth of an inch here, and that's about it. Heavier totals back around uh, uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Dallas, Texas. Here's the uh, tropics. Melissa, subtropical storm Melissa in the middle of nowhere, and again, that thing stays in the middle of nowhere. That should be the last name system of this season that's turned out to be quite a dud for the Atlantic. All right, a lot to talk about. Let's look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. And this is at 500 millibars. Upper high over the Yucatan Straits. We've got a big trough back over California. And the northern branch beginning to drop south. For us tomorrow, it's, can you see the, the, the wedge effect? You can see how that flow comes in from the east. A 1035 high near Cape Cod. Um uh, Showers break out to the west of here, and snow likely develops over parts of Wyoming as the cold air drops south. But with that wedge kind of thing, uh, that's kind of that's, that's going to make it a tricky forecast tomorrow. This is the NAM tomorrow morning at six o'clock, and you can see maybe a few sprinkles are possible east of I-65. If you're in places like Heflin or Wadawi or Ashland, uh, Lafayette, Auburn, you might see a sprinkle or a raindrop tomorrow morning. But on the western side of the state, no issues there. In fact, you might see some sunshine tomorrow. But we'll call it generally cloudy. And again, highs will range from near 55 on the Georgia border to near 65 in West Alabama. All right, this is Friday. Look at the cold air digging down into Texas. Goodness. Uh, rain falling Friday afternoon around Memphis, uh, down towards Shreveport. We think the bulk of the day Friday will be dry. Let's go to the high-res NAM. This is valid Friday evening at 6 o'clock, and it's got uh, the showers still north of here. For the Friday night football games, the playoff games, uh, the better chance of rain during those games, probably along and north of U.S. 278. Uh, that's Hamilton to Cullman to Gadsden. Uh, south of that line, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden points south. I'd say the chance is small, not zero, but smaller. But the farther north you go, the better chance of showers Friday night for those football games. Now, this is Saturday as we kick off the weekend. Uh, it's a big old 1046 millibar high. Very strong north winds uh, developing. And uh, Saturday is going to be just a raw day. It's going to be cloudy. Now, we could see some showers around. 
And, you know, uh, we, we talked about the showers mainly Saturday morning. Looking at the latest data, I don't know. Look at the NAM. It's got the batch of showers kind of still north of us at midday. So I think out of respect to the slower NAM, we're just going to say cloudy with a chance of showers on Saturday and kind of take out the morning verbiage and uh, meaning there could be a few showers into Saturday afternoon. It's not going to rain a lot, uh, but uh, maybe a few showers into the afternoon hours. Uh, and the big deal, in fact, is going to turn windy and colder. Uh, again, I think there's a good chance the high Saturday will come during the morning. Uh, we'll be in the 50s. And then once the front drops south of here, the winds pick up and we drop in the 40s on Saturday afternoon. Uh, should be a windy, cold, raw, damp day. Not exactly a Chamber of Commerce day. If you're going to the ball game in uh, Tuscaloosa for the Alabama UT moccasin game, uh, I'd go ahead and uh, pack along some rain gear just in case and uh, dress very warmly as it's going to get pretty cold, especially in the second half of that game. Uh, this is Sunday. The high builds in. Sunday morning, we should be well down in the 20s, probably mid-20s and uh, still windy. Notice the pressure gradient, so it's going to be a breezy and cold day. These are temperatures off the uh, European and uh, this is at midday Sunday. It's got Birmingham at 43. We'll expect a high now in the mid-40s on Sunday. But again, up in the Tennessee Valley, Huntsville, the Shoals, they might have a hard time getting out of the 30s up there. And you factor in the wind, and it's going to feel colder, but at least the sky will be sunny. Now, Monday, again, Monday morning is going to be cold with lows well down in the 20s, but the thing changes very quickly as a, a surface low develops in the western Gulf. Now, if this were the middle of January, we might be dealing with some snow here, and I don't know. I'll show you something interesting by Wednesday, but whatever. Monday, we start to see clouds increasing, and then Tuesday, we go wet. Uh, broad surface low near New Orleans, just south of there, and it uh, looks like Tuesday could feature a soaking rain for the state. Uh, so you got some kind of plans, travel plans, no severe weather, just a big soaker there. This is Wednesday. This is your biggest travel day of the year. Uh, we turn colder, and by golly, uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I'll show you that in just a minute. First off, to the east, you know, very inclement weather, and obviously a coastal storm is going to try and form. Exactly where that forms, we don't know yet, but this could hamper uh, some of those uh, east coast airports. Now, the good news here, this has got the New York and Boston still dry at midday Wednesday, but they will probably have deteriorating weather conditions by Wednesday night. Uh, but that looks like a nasty scene for the east coast. And is, is the cold air rushes in here? Come on now. Uh <laughs> Uh, the, the GFS is printing a dusting of snow uh, for the Tennessee Valley. Uh, this is for uh, Wednesday. Now, well, you know, obviously we're not going to mention this in a forecast, but I found it interesting that the GFS is trying to print this as uh, cold air rushes in on the backside of that departing storm. We'll just watch for trends. Uh, let's go to Thanksgiving Day, the 28th. Cool and dry storm out of here uh we'll probably start the day in the uh 20s the high would be maybe around 50 if this is right just cool and crisp just the way you like it for thanksgiving here's black friday uh, that looks uh calm and this is iron bowl saturday and again looks very nice and if this is right highs would be in the 60s a really nice day for that ball game we've had very good consistency in this idea uh, in, uh, recent model runs. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.